Hello everyone, Alien Bolt here. And I am bringing to you my third match of Hearthstone. Heroes of Warcraft. Now this is a training card game that became digitalized. It's uh, something they put into a, a computer game that they figured people would want to play. And at first I thought, not a very smart idea. Who's going to want to do that? Well, then they opened up, hey, if you come play this game and win three matches, you get a mount. So I started playing it for the mount. And then it turns out I really liked the game. So they were actually pretty smart about designing this game to begin with. I would have never thought to play these card games. I actually bought decks of these things and gave them to my kids because I was just interested in the loot cards. So that way I could get items in World of Warcraft. Now the goal here is basically each round you get mana shards. And as you collect these mana shards each round, you have to either use them or lose them. I am not all that hand with swords or bows. Each card has a price in the top left hand corner of what how many mana shards it actually takes to play. So if you are just starting off and all your cards are two mana shards plus, your first round you won't even be able to play. You'll have to pass it. Now every time you play a card, unless it's a special card that has like a charge or some type of attack Even listed on it, point of can mean the it doesn't, it's not able to be played until the following defeat. round. So you place it on the deck, on the table, and then the opponent can either choose to try to attack the card and take it out, or he's going to have to let it play, and if he lets it play, Unless he has a card on the on the table that's a tanking card, uh, you can use that card to attack him or his cards, his minions that he puts on the deck or on the table. Now you see the other card is actually has Z's coming out of it because I can't play it that round because I just initially laid it. So that's it for that round. Now of course he plays his card on mine and he loses it. If your card attacks a minion, it actually loses whatever damage it does to the opposing card. So let's say it does three damage and it has two health, it's gonna die. You know you lost the card. Now if it has like eight health and it does two damage, well, you can lose use it like four different times depending upon how many times it's attacked before it actually gets destroyed. Now the goal obviously is not to let any player get too many cards on the deck because then if they choose to attack you, the damage they do can be multiplied pretty quick. Hit it very hard. My respects, Elder. Yes, Lord Walker. At this point, the game is just basically teaching me how to play, and it hasn't really given me any tank cards yet. After I destroy your troops, I'm coming for you. See, now he throws quite a few cards in here. to wait a turn for my mana to recharge. Job's done. I have made some new friends who can heal as well as fight. Someone called for it. At this point I didn't have much left so I had to actually use a card to get more cards. There may be a hand that you get dealt cards that uh, you can't use for a couple of rounds, which really sucks. So if you look at the numbers of the cards, unless they're a really good card, you should try to get rid of it by swapping it out at the very beginning of the round. 
Now there are ways to preset up decks, but I didn't do that. I chose to uh, play blind. Just uh, whatever fate handed me on the cards. Now if I get into this a little bit more and play it more regularly, I will set up my cards. And I'll make videos that show why I'm setting up a certain way. What my strategy happens to be. I'm sure there'll be holes. Since this is the first type of strategy game I've ever played. Now, Lore Master Cho you is actually playing a healing card you. here. And uh, not only can he do two damage, but he can also heal, which he just healed Lore Master Cho for two immediately upon putting him down. Which is really nice. I mean, it's a good strategy if you're setting up a deck to have some really heavy healers that you can lay down to not only heal yourself, but also other cards to keep your minions alive longer or. Um, at the very least, require more hit points to, to kill if they've already been attacked. Now this is pretty much uh, oh, about the end here, sure. I think, for the long time to show. Job's done. He's getting kind of low. I got that Pyroblast just setting in wait. And it's a six damage spell, so if he doesn't take out my minions here, he's done. They'll never know what now, this is one of my favorite cards. You drop it and it immediately attacks. So it immediately does four damage or three damage. Now, attack on my Pyroblast and my two attacks from my uh, the two cards that remain to this round. I completely ignore his minion because it's not a tank. So I don't have to attack it. And that's it. It's done. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more battles and the revealing of the World of Warcraft Hearthstone Mount. It's been an